What's going on everyone? It's Des again and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about one night a week and one week in a month and what that means for you as an army reservist. So let's go. guys so one night a week and one week in a month what that means for you as an army reservist is that is the minimum requirement for you to attend training at your respective units so what happens on in that case is if you were unit parades on a certain night you are required to attend that one training night what happens on that one training night is you will show up at your armory around seven o'clock you will do roll call around 7 30 after that, you're going to break off into your respective platoon or troop and you're going to carry out with training for that evening. So training lasts around about three hours, so you're finished around 1030. Now, if you're within a troop or a platoon, you will go uh, carry out whatever training is there and that you're going to be doing. So if you're doing, so for example, tactical type training, you'll have your tactical vest, you have your small pack and you will carry out training at the armory. If you're doing classroom lectures, you'll be in that classroom. As combat engineers, we are usually in our, we, what we call the dirty work area. That's where we, our stores are. We'll go in there and we'll start cleaning or engineer tools. So we ensure that our tools are good to go and ready for the next training cycle. If you're in an infantry unit, you're going to be doing a lot of practicing of uh, patrols, section attacks at the armory, prior for you going away on your training weekend. So what happens on a training weekends? You will show up at your unit uh, Friday night at seven o'clock. You do roll call attendance at 7.30. Then you'll go and get issued your personal weapon. And after that, you will break off into your platoon or troop um, groups. You will go gather whatever stores is required for that weekend. And you will prepare yourself to depart to the to your uh, training uh, bases. So as, for example, as combat engineers, we'll show up on Friday night, we'll do a uh, roll call, we'll get issued our weapons, we'll get our, our stores together, any, any type of serialized kit that we need to get from our quartermasters, we'll get that and we'll load that onto our vehicles. Now, prior to the Friday night training, on Tuesday night, which is our, we have, is our administration night, and it'll depend on, it'll depend on your unit, and uh, when their administration night is. So what you'll do is you'll show up on the admin night. Uh, you're pretty much, it's your section commanders, your troop commanders, your troop warrants, your platoon warrants, things like that. Your CO, your RSM will show up and they will finalize the training plan for that weekend. The remainder of the soldiers who are coming in for the Tuesday night, they're gonna be pre preparing um, all the stores. So all the stores that need to be signed out, to be checked and to be loaded onto your section vehicles, that's their responsibility. Then you have your section driver who will drive your vehicle to a parking area and will leave that vehicle parked uh, until the Friday night when the rest of your unit shows up for the weekend training. So you, on Friday night, you'll do all that. And then you'll load up into your either your vehicles or buses and you head to the uh, your respective training areas. You will show up Friday uh, there Friday night. You'll either be in shacks or you'll be in like modular tents where they have sleeping arrangements for you. You'll go there and pretty much go to ground until Saturday morning. Saturday morning, you're gonna get up, you're gonna have breakfast, and then you're gonna carry out your training for the remainder of the Saturday. Now that's gonna uh, different, differentiate, uh, depends on your unit. So if you're in the infantry unit, you're gonna be doing a lot of section attacks, uh, platoon attacks, you're gonna, be do, you're gonna be doing recce, you might be in the range firing a weapon and qualifying on your different types of support weapons that you have within your unit. If you're in the artillery, you're gonna pretty much be uh, firing your C3 105 millimeter howitzers, right? Um, and you're gonna be firing at targets in up to two kilometers away. So your weekend will be primarily doing gun drills. If you're in the armored recce units, you'll be doing dismounted and mounted 
armor and reconnaissance pretty much all the way into the evening. Now in the combat engineers, depends on what we have and what we're doing that weekend. If we're doing a bridging exercise, we're gonna have all our bridging parts um, on ground on Friday, and then we're gonna start putting the bridge together the Saturday morning, all day Saturday into the evening if, if needed, and also into Sunday. If we're doing like demolition type training, we're gonna do that all day Saturday, and then Sunday is pretty much clean up. Now, for some units, Sunday is still part of your training day. So you're gonna show up Friday, you're gonna train all day Saturday, and you're gonna train half day Sunday. So if you sh on Sunday, you're gonna pretty much carry out whatever training needs to be carried out. Then you're gonna do a cleanup of your area, your BIV site, um, where, you're, where you're all situated. From there, you're gonna load up on load up all your stores, you're gonna load up on the bus, you can head back to your armory. When you get back to your armory, you can offload all your stores, ensure that they're gonna clean and they're put away. Anything that's broken, you're gonna put an NS tag on it. So in the as combat engineers, okay, when if we're doing say for example on the weekend, we're also doing digging. You want to make sure that all our shovels, all the augers, everything is clean, it's oiled, and it's ready to go for the next training cycle or the next training weekend. When you show up on Sunday, you're gonna take off all, uh, unload all your kit, you're gonna put away all your stores, then you're gonna start cleaning your weapons. This is where myself as a section commander or my section two IC are gonna ensure that your weapons are cleaned, are oiled, and are ready to go back into storage. So once all that is done, everything is good to go, any kit that needs to be uh, sorted out is sorted out. You're, we're gonna do what we call an AAR. An AAR is an after action review, and this is where we get together as a troop or in an in infantry case platoon. You're gonna sit down and you're gonna talk about that exercise. You're gonna have good points, you can have good, bad points, and you have points to improve. What this means is if there's something wrong with that exercise, for the next exercise, you're gonna improve. Okay? So that's what you do, and after that, then you cut loose, you go home for the for the evening and you can show up the following week for your normal parade nights or your administration nights, right? So guys, that is what happens on a weekend uh, training. So remember, as a reservist, you are only in, required to attend one night a week and one week in a month. You can show up on administration nights and help out and earn extra pay, or you can attend as much exercises if uh, depends on your unit if they have two exercises a month, you will attend that exercise. Now, it's not mandatory if you have a job or you're in school, um, you know, that's priority, okay? So, and one of the things that, uh, that was brought up to me is a contract. So in the reserves, there's no contracts, okay? You don't sign a contract. In the regular military, you will sign a con contract for about three years. So that gives you an idea about, you know, contract and non-contract. Also guys, that I have to also mention, uh, when you attend your uh, training nights, you're not only going to be doing training, you may have what we call unit type lectures. And that's going to vary, depends on the uh, lecture that's being briefed. Usually it's by your uh, one of the officers. You may have uh, an information sec sect, which is basically how you have to deal with uh, media, what you can say and what you cannot say. There's a uh, security briefing which uh, talks to you guys about you know the building security your your you know, security and your weapons your vehicles using the internet that's a big thing a lot of people um, will take videos or pictures and post it on social media uh, unaware that certain things that may be in that video or in that picture uh, can be seen by everyone on the uh, the uh, internet social media and um, if this if, we, if there's something that's wrong in that video um it will be brought down to your unit and you, you will be like confronted and told this is what they uh we see uh it's inappropriate or whatever and it must be taken off you also get your fire lecture so basically when you're in the armory you have to know your fire drills what happens if there's a fire what you need to say uh that you don't have to know where your uh exit routes are and where you're going to meet as a group so whenever a fire breaks out you must know those drills that's going to be told to you in your lectures, you're also going to get uh, a lecture on alcohol, tobacco, uh, marijuana policies, okay, what you can and cannot do. Um, even though it is uh, marijuana is legal here, um, there are steps to Canadian Forces is very, extremely strict when it comes to those, uh, those rules. So you must uh, understand, you must follow those rules. 
and things like that. So um, on top of military lectures, you're also going to have civilians who will come in, um, potential employers who will show up. Uh, a few years ago, we had uh, one of the armored car security places come in and they talked to us about the job opportunities for reservists to uh, apply that type of job. So um, it's important that you do show up to a lot of these lectures. Yes, you know, lectures end up being like death, like death by PowerPoint, but they're, they're important and they're very informative for you. So you must, you must uh, attend those exercise, um, those lectures and to gain as much information as possible. So make sure guys, um, yes, you attend your unit training, but also attend those uh, important lectures. All right, guys. Thanks. All right, guys. So I hope you guys like this video. If you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. Also hit that indicator bell. So you know when I post more videos and comment in the comment section give me that big big thumbs up guys we'll see you in the next video